Hello everyone, this is K. Jansi Rani, working as functional English and life skills trainer in GTW Ashram School, Rajanagaram, Buttaigudam Mandal, West Godavari District, under Naipunya Vikasam project from APSSDC. Today, I am here to present a topic about 10th class functional English, module number 38, Opening and closing of story writing. Before entering into the topic, let me say a brief about story writing. A story writing involves creative writing. It's a work of fiction or imagination usually written in grammatical structure with a natural flow of speech. A story is basically a narrating of real or imaginary events involving real or imaginary people. Even images or moving pictures can narrate a story. A story is generally designed to entertain and send a message across. Let's come to the structure of the story. This is the basic structure of a story which helps to construct a story in an understandable manner and keeps the flow of the story. There are four elements in the structure of a story. First one is beginning or opening. Second is character introduction. Third one is plot. And fourth one is closing or conclusion. The opening or introduction of a story is of essential importance. This is the part where you can hook the reader and capture their attention. You might have come across the beginnings to stories like long time ago, once upon a time, long ago, etc. However, you can be more creative and be, make a beginnings with more intrigue. Character introduction. Your story will depend upon how well you write your characters. To develop your characters, you must use dialogues as well. Plot. Here, the actual narration of the story will happen. The events that occur or description of the situation will be written here. A plot may also have uh, conflict which will be focus of any story. Closing or conclusion. If there is a plot twist, this is where you will include the twist. Always end the story in an interesting manner. It may be a happy ending or sad or tragedy. Whatever it may be, please try to give a moral or message to the reader which will enlighten the minds of the reader and follow in their daily routine. And coming to the points to keep in mind while writing a story. Suitable title. The first impression of a story writing will come only for the suitable title. So give an appropriate title to Keep and get the audience attention, the reader's attention. Facts included in the story should be accurate. Whatever the facts you want to include in the story must be very accurate. And no confusion in the story. Also, please see that there will be no confusion in the story. Less usage of complicated words. So, this is also a main important point to remember while writing a story. Avoid usage of complicated words so as to make the reader a continuous flow and get more information and best innovative. Let me illustrate this topic with a story named A Picnic on a Train. Rima lives with her mother and father in New Delhi. Here, if we observe this sentence, there is an introduction of characters Rima, a girl, and also two more characters, mother and father. In the beginning sentence, we find out the character introduction. Her family is going to Agra to see the Taj Mahal. They are going by 
train when we observe these sentences it is clear that they are going on journey by train rima is not happy so now we are going to pictureize the plot that saying that rima is not happy this shows that she is not interested to do journey by train she does not like going on a train her mother sits next to her she puts her right arm around rima the name of the train is the taj express rima sits near the window if we observe these sentences the story we are making it for the continuation and pictureization each and every sentence is explaining the flow of the story rima sits near the window here the writer wants to continue the story and pictureize the plot generally if we go by train we may or may not get seats near the window side so here by creating a seat near the window the writer or the narrator wants to explain the outside atmosphere or environment what they are observed by, through the train she looks out of the window she sees green fields there are some cows in the fields the cows are eating grass she sees goats they are eating bushes she is happy now now she can see some farmers they are working in the fields rima sees a boy and a girl they are wearing their school uniform they are going to their school here the description of the plot is being explained while they are traveling through the train what is the general things we will observe through the train are being created here and as she is a small girl she is observing each and every thing she looks outside through the window the train stops at a station father gets off the train he buys some sandwiches and juices he gets in the train again the train moves so here when we comes to the continuation of the story as it is a train journey no one will sit long time without any food so here the narrator slowly breaking up the description of the train journey he also wants to make it very clear that they need some break so as it is a train he wanted to stop at a particular station and buy some food for their family rima eats a sandwich and drinks some juice she says it is just like a picnic so finally here the narrator wants to say that rima felt happy with the journey by train in the beginning if we observe she is not happy to go by train so slowly the narrator described and continued making the girl to be interested in the train journey by giving good description and depiction of the outside atmosphere through train also eatables are given in the train to make her feel happy and finally she felt at the end of the story that it's like a picnic for her a picnic on a train what fun so here there is a happy conclusion if we observe there is a happy conclusion so this is a very happy ending we can make a short story here
थैंक यू रीमा आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ स्टोरी राइटिंग एंड श्योर यू विल फॉलो दीज रूल्स एंड पॉइंट वाइल राइटिंग ए स्टोरी एंड इंप्रूव यूर क्रिएटिव राइटिंग स्किल्स थैंक यू थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल